Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. So in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, Live Good. I'm gonna talk about sort of some encouraging thoughts, um, you know, for people who are, who have been in Live Good for a while. They're, they're looking for, for, you know, methods on how to build their Live Good business. Um, maybe some, some encouraging thoughts and, uh, you know, exciting, you know, things to, to, to get you motivated. And, uh, you know, a lot of exciting things, as we know, are happening with Live Good, a lot of hu huge amount of growth. And, uh, you know, in spite of the fact that we've got incredible growth and, and the numbers just say it all, you know, in nine months since we launched internationally, we've, uh, you know, we, we're looking at well over 700,000 members and it's just, just, just over nine months now. I myself have you know, about just over 80,000 people in my downline, 80,000. I mean, I joined nine months ago, 80,000 in my downline. Um, you know, I, I, I have 18 diamonds in total in my downline. 10, di 10, 10 of those diamonds are, are in Korea. Probably about 40%, well, about, well, actually about 50% of my entire organization is, out, is, is in Korea. It's just uh, mind-boggling, um, and you know to think about that, you know, and I've never met any of them. They probably don't even know that I'm in their upline. They've never heard of me. They've kind of never come across me. Most of their names are written in Korean. I can't, I can't speak Korean or read Korean. But uh, you know, I've got ten diamonds out of Korea, six from India, one in Dubai. I've got a, a diamond in the USA. I've uh, platinums. I've got seventy-four platinums in my downline. 50 of, the, 50 of those Platinums are in Korea, uh, 17 from India, 3 from Africa, 2 from the USA, and 2 Platinums from Japan. So some big leaders, and, and there's a, some, some, a lot of leaders emerging um, in um, Scandinavia. And, uh, you know, I've got a very exciting, motivated team in Scandinavia. And, uh, you know, that's where I'm applying a lot of my focus at the moment. But uh, it is very exciting, and this growth is phenomenal. It really is. But uh, all I can say, guys, is, you know, for those of you who are feeling discouraged, you know, you're trying to get results and, uh, you know, and, and fair play, you know, because the, the, although there are a lot of people generating results, just understand, please don't, you know, for heaven's sake, don't forget that this, you know, when I when I first got into network marketing, that was in the mid to, to early um 1990s okay i got into amway the first time i heard about amway i, I was in a hotel um lobby area and uh, there were a couple of us looking at the plan and there was a gentleman who was not my sponsor's upline um a nice guy i'd never met him before but uh, my sponsor just jo recently joined so he wasn't really showing me the plan it was his sponsor that we, that uh, met us and showed us the plan and uh, you know the thing that stuck out to me was when he said it was a two to five year plan, a two to five year plan to, you know, to, to break free, to, you know, I mean, you know, I realize that not everyone's dreams, aspirations and goals are not necessary to replace your current income or maybe, you know, maybe it's not necessary to retire. But that's what he was talking about, a two to five year plan to get to that point where you can walk away from your job uh, to retire. You know, now when we look at that, you know, we th I think nowadays a lot of people have this, uh, you know, short term focus, you know, and then people think that, you know, after a few months, if, if things are not really happening, then they quit and do something else, you know, and, and it's a shame. It's amazing. We're not really seeing that with live good. That, that's amazing. And yes, you get people who sort of move off and, you know, you know, work with other businesses and that and that, that's that's normal. You know, that's fine these days. You know, a lot of that's going on. But um, and they they sort of feel that the whole point about multiple streams of income is just to get get all focused on a lot of things but um, you know you know don't get me wrong I think full, full, um, multiple streams of incomes are essential but I think it's the way you you know where a lot of people do it you know but uh, my, my point is you know if, if you're getting discouraged and, and you see it, there's a lot of distraction out there honestly guys you know it, don't forget that you know network marketing really is a two to five year plan it's it's a solid hard work thing i mean even 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 outside of network marketing you know if you're in investing if you're doing digital currencies if you're doing crypto you know i mean i realize 
I realize, you know, with the crypto space being brand new, and I know a lot of people on my channel are from, uh, you know, within the crypto space, um, <clears throat> you know, a lot of those businesses do come and go uh, within months. So, you know, people have become gotten to the cotton onto the idea that, uh, you know, if something's not working within two or three months, then it's time to move on. But, um, you know, that's not the case with something like LiveGood because, you know, LiveGood and, and, you know, we're talking the CEO here, Ben Glinsky, is more than capable and he has proven time and time again to to run companies for, you know, as long as five, ten years and beyond. And, um, you know, with with product related companies, with so solid physical products that we've got that not only, you know, not only are affordable, that are, you know, and, and then guys, they're not even required. You know, there is no actual requirement to purchase or be on auto ship. You know, that was always the struggle in a lot of other network marketing companies is, you know, people people had to quit for other reasons and, and you know in those other network marketing companies because they simply couldn't afford it they were just simply spending a lot of money on product and training materials and you know courses and stuff like that even back in the 90s when, we, when i was in amway i had to spend you know I, w I had to be on book of the week uh, well it was actually book of the month sorry and tape of the week i seem to remember you know we we purchased the tapes every single week um and th these were you know, personal mental attitude type tapes, you know, from the leaders, diamond leaders and the emerald leaders. Um, and then we got those every week. We had to purchase those. And then uh, every every month we purchased a book like, you know, Napoleon Hill or Th Magic of Thinking Big or, you know, various other books. Um, and, you know, when I, you know, I was in my early 20s, um, you know, barely in, a, you know, starting a career. And, and that was a struggle in itself because I, I wasn't able to sponsor that many people. Um, and, you know, driving from A to B, going to hotel meetings, going to conventions, driving all over the country, meeting people to show the plan, that, that was expensive, you know, that was hard, that was tough. But I, you know, I kept going. But, um, you know, in spite of that, it was amazing to me when I heard, when I saw the plan back then, how easy it could be just simply to start up a business for me at the you know the age of early, you know in my early 20s and yes it was expensive to do you know to be on the tape of the week and book of the month and to be to be driving all over the country and to go to conventions and hotel meetings and stuff that was expensive but i i you know even as young as i was and as naive as i was i could compare that easily with you know if i was going to run a, a you know a restaurant business or if i was going to run you know, a conventional business, compare that. And, and, but, but now we're in, you know, we're in the, you know, the, the times where we've got the internet. We don't need to purchase tapes and CDs. And we don't, I mean, we used to have to purchase ad packs, you know, every time we, we hand out an ad pack. What was an ad pack? An ad pack is a simply, a, you know, a, a tape or a video or a DVD that we would hand out to people. And often we, we wouldn't even be able to get those back. You know, we'd hand it out. We never saw them again. And, you know, we had to go and purchase a, a, another batch so that we could give out. I mean, these were just advertising packages about our business. Now we can just send out a website URL that has a six minute video um, and they can go on to a webinar. They can go on to a Zoom call. They can go on to weekly lives on YouTube. They can watch videos that, that either I've done or, or, the, or some of the upline or the leaders have done or, or they've done themselves. Um, and you can share it out for free. So, you know, guys, we are so blessed. We're so lucky in the ways we, you know, we can market our business. And, and talking about marketing our business, um, you know, back then, all we had was really the telephone. You know, I mean, of course, we we go out there and we go into the shopping mall. We, we go out and prospect. We, we talk to people. We try and break the ice. It's very, very hard. A lot of people couldn't do that. Um, but really, all, all we had is, you know, is once we've got a, once we got a business card from people we met, then it was time to call them up. You know, we started off with a list of 100 names of people we know. We didn't prejudge anyone, you know, people that we met at wedding parties in the past or, you know, friends of friends. And we had a business, their business cards. You know, we put them all down on a list and we and we'd write their phone number and we didn't have emails back then. So all we had, all we could, all, the only marketing tool that we could use was the telephone. We'd pick up the telephone, and if you, if you, if you're gonna, you know, if you tell me, 
oh, I'm, I'm not good at using the telephone. <laughs> like nowadays people say, well, I'm not good at using YouTube or I don't want to use YouTube or I refuse to use YouTube or I refuse to use social media. Um, what else do you suggest? I mean, the, you guys, there's an endless set, set of tools and methods and, and ideas and you know, ways that you can market your business nowadays. So, you know, w people, people say to me what, nowadays, you know, they say into the, my, my private group, they say to me, well, Ed, you know, I've been in a month. I haven't got a single sign up or, it, you know, it doesn't work. People get negative. And then, you know, the first thing I do is I click on their profile. I go to their timeline. They're not even posting anything on social media. And in some cases, they might be posting this and that occasionally, but they're posting ads. Guys, you know, so Facebook is a social platform. It's not an advertising platform as such, although you can advertise on it. And yes, there are advertisements on Facebook, but most people will ignore those. That's why you're being ignored, because when I see your timeline, you're just posting like ads. People will not ignore those. You know, you've got to be you know, engaging. That's the difference. What's the OK? Well, let me let me just show you. OK, so I'm going to go to my Facebook timeline. Um, so what am I doing? I mean, first, let's 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 look at, uh, you know, a little bit about me, about I'm, I'm a family man. I'm a I'm a I'm a you know, I'm a father, obviously, I've got kids. So people immediately right there, they can see that, yes, I'm 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 in business, but I'm not like, you know, a typical kind of potential spammer. I'm not I'm not some guy, some guy who's just business, business, business orientated, you know, I'm a family guy, you know, and that's why I probably tr attract a lot of men who are about my age, who are, you know, fathers, you know, I, I tend to attract a lot of those kind of people. And it's, it's wonderful. But, you know, I attract, I, I, I <clears throat> attract a lot of all kinds of people, you know, I got me skiing there, you probably can't see that. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I post things about, you know, my business, um, my results, you know, what's going on with my business and my results. You know, I'm posting about um, recognition, congratulating people in my team. But even if even if you haven't got anyone in your personal team yet, that's OK. You can you can do recognition posts about um, people in, in, in your in your organization, in your company. In, you know, so join join the groups, get to know people, you know, and don't spam in those groups because they're they're groups related to live good or whatever. So don't spam in those groups. But, you know. <clears throat> get to know people, you know, and when people are, be you know, people are being congratulated in the various groups, so congratulate them, you know, and interact, engage, you know, and, and sure, you can, you can post stuff and con congratulate people in the organization, people who went diamond or whatever. <clears throat> okay, more recognition there. Um, a little rant, you know, talking about or, or, you know, something about the company, product related, <clears throat> talking about, you know, value, you know, sharing value you know what some updates um giving recognition to people in my team you know um, value posts things that you know value this is a great you know these are great things you should be doing because this kind of thing you know is giving out free value it gets people engaged it gets people curious they want to know more um the, this is these are tools that i use to market my business you know, and I find that not only people within LiveGood itself get interested in these, but also people outside of LiveGood, because there are always going to be people who are not necessarily going to be joining you in LiveGood, but they might join you in the tools that you recommend that you use to market LiveGood. However, they might use it for, to market their business. OK, so you are always keeping people within the loop. OK, that's what it's all about. It's keeping people within the loop. Because people always talk about, oh, I've spoken to everyone. Everyone's saying no. But it, <clears throat> but guys, if if somebody says no to you in your live good business, does that mean that you block them? Does that mean that you never speak to them again? Does that mean that you're never going to be talking again? Of course not. You know, they build their business, you build your business, but it doesn't mean you're going to stop talking to each other. And you shouldn't. Because if you continue to provide value that are uh, appropriate and suitable to people who are not necessarily in promoting your business or or not necessarily going to be joining your business you still want to be doing these value posts because guess what 
they, you know, it's all about keeping that connection because down the road they might decide to join you and live good. They'll, I've had so many people who have changed their mind and suddenly come on board, say, I want to take another look at that live good business. And they wouldn't have done that if I was, if I'd kind of, you know, um, <clears throat> broken that connection. You know, you don't want to burn bridges, guys. You want to keep people in the loop of what you're doing. So don't always just talk about live good, live good, live good. That's why sometimes I put these these things out there because I want people to, you know, stay on board with me. There are people who commented on this post who probably wouldn't have commented on my live good posts, but they commented on this because they saw they saw the relationship, they saw the they saw the uh, the value. So that's important. Again, recognition posts, product related, um, more value. Okay, um, products. Re um, you know, uh, recognition numbers, uh, statistics type posts, um, checking out my, uh, my kind of, um, you know, what, what I've been achievement type posts, you know, numbers, some people like analytic, some people are more analytical, they like numbers. Um, you know, what's going on in live good in other teams, what are other people doing in other countries, maybe, you know, I've, I've, I've been able to motivate people in different countries like Malaysia, uh, this is this is not Malaysia. This is India. However, you know, I've been able to motivate people in different countries because there are still a lot of countries out there that are completely untouched that people could just go in and start building their business in that country. I've got people from Malaysia. I've got people from from Korea. I've got people from different parts of different parts of the world. And even if you think your country is saturated, which trust me, it is not. Far from it. Even if you're in America, even if you're in, like I say, even if you're in the UK, even if you're in Australia, I don't care where you're based. You've got a, you've got so much potential. So get motivated because a lot's happening in different countries. You can, you can do things. You can, you know, do some events or whatever. Value posts, you know, all kinds of things. Um, <clears throat> but you know, you, I mean, you don't see a so much about my kids or what am I, you know, what am I eating going out? Um, what am I eating for lunch or my, you know, I'm not doing much about pets and stuff like that. I don't have a pet, but guys, you can do that kind of stuff as well. Mix it all in, you know, let people know that you're a real person. You're a friendly guy. You're approachable um, because it's all about branding yourself. It's, it's that avatar, that whole big picture of you. What, what is it you're presenting? And those are the kind of the people that you're going to be attracting. Um, so do these varied posts of value, recognition, lifestyle, um, you know, and, and so many others, you know, be creative because you'll, you'll attract a wider audience, get more people checking you out, but think about, you know, what other posts you could do to, a, to keep people on board, you know, even though they're not going to necessarily join you in, in live good at the moment, you know, they might join you down the road. So think about, you know, other pieces of value like marketing tools platforms traffic sources that you could recommend um, so you know that's why I say you know social media so if, if if somebody tells me well I'm not you know I'm not getting signups the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to come onto your social media channel Facebook Instagram or whatever and I'm going to see what it is you're doing and you know I'll give you some pointers I'll recommend maybe do some more posts you know make you know, guys, you can go on. To, there's so much you can do on social media. You can go onto the search bar here and you can you can do a search like um, money making groups. I don't know what's that. Money making. <clears throat> so you can look for groups. OK, this group has 80,000. You can join these groups. 173,000 members they get 10 posts a day it seems very very active you can you know you can go through all these various groups you can join as many groups as possible um, you can go to um, MLM type groups <clears throat> um, and see you know 325,000 or about 23 um, you know 2300 posts or whatever 164,000 members you know, a lot of these will be active, so you can, you know, check out these groups. And trust me, guys, um, when you get into these groups, you're going to find it very, very difficult not to get friend requests. And you want to welcome that. You want to build your following with people in this industry 
but of course you know outside this industry or, or just do weight loss and health type groups or you know just join a lot of groups um trust me you're going to get you're going to you, you're going to find it very difficult not to build your network you know you're going to get to know people send friend requests uh respond to friend, re friend requests you're going to get people messaging you so network with them because the more you talk to people in messenger the more they're going to notice your feeds on on their timeline from your posts um and it's just you know the the facebook algorithms are, are going to make it better for you you're going to get a better reach you're going to you know you're going to get more people engaging on your posts so you know make it a point to um engage on people's posts it's not just about messaging people all the time yes messaging people is necessary but just engage on people's posts talk to, um you know comment on people's posts be encouraging but don't just be spammy all right so i find that you know facebook has be has actually become one of my one of my most engaging platforms you know with a lot of engagement i love youtube obviously you know youtube is another story because I, youtube is my, definitely my favorite and why do i like youtube well because i find that youtube um will get a lot of people pre-qualified to join me once they know me they see they see me speak they see me in front of the camera um I'm, I'm really, you know, pre-qualifying people to to really work with me. All right, it's it's not like you know, you know, just going out there and advertising for cold leads. They 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 very quickly become warm leads, and they quickly become warmed up to what I'm doing, and I get a lot of signups from YouTube because that's the beauty of videos. You know, people can see what I'm doing, so. You know, I see a lot of people with YouTube channels, but they're uploading other people's content, and that's okay. They're uploading, you know, live good stuff, and that's also okay. But you should also put your up your own stuff so that you know, because always you're putting yourself out there, you're branding yourself, and again, it's just another way to get more reach, get more, you know, more people out, uh, to see what you're doing. So don't be afraid to do that. All right. Anyway, guys, um, hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye for now.